girls look so ready for the swimming pool right now. The swimming pool. The swimming pool. Swimming Are you ready pool. to go? Cold or hot? Cold. Hot. 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 <laughs> How is everyone doing today? It's our second morning here in the beautiful Lanzarote and it's the 1st of November. <gasps> girls! You girls are my girls for sure. In fact, I've had one member of our iFam this morning message me a picture of their Christmas tree that they have already Daddy, popped up. We have to put it all. No, right now. Oh, Wait, oh, no. when we'll we get the next time Daddy goes skating out somewhere when we get home, let's Oh my gosh, I'm right with you there, girl. I'm right with you. That's what we're doing. That Christmas tree is going up as soon as we can get it up. Actually, <laughs> what? If we get it's a special, family, special family. family. Special family. <laughs> Maybe we could just decorate the house Christmassy. Yeah. We'll do something. But you're right. Putting we'll the Christmas tree is a family thing. We'll I can't see out of the sunglasses. Making me feel sick every time I look down. Anyway. Morning guys, we've just got up, got ourselves ready, been down for breakfast already this morning. We had a really rough night with Jace last night. Oh my gosh. If you watched yesterday's vlog, do you want to go down the steps, girls? Uh, yeah. If you watched yesterday's vlog, then you met... Oh, hang on, we don't go down the steps this way, the pool's this way. Um, it's, takes, it's taken me a lot of time to get used to this hotel and get used to knowing which way to go for the different things. Anyway, if you watched yesterday's vlog, you may know that Jace slept loads yesterday. I don't know if it was because he was just overtired, it was the fresh air, he wasn't feeling great. His teeth were cut in, I'm not too sure what he was, but he slept quite a lot yesterday. And I remember saying, this will leave him in two things. One, he won't sleep at all tonight. Or two, he'll sleep all night and like, we'll have a great night with him. Unfortunately, it was number one. <laughs> he was up all night. I think I probably got about an hour's sleep in total last night. It was actually awful. It was the worst night that we've had in a long time. Yes, Isla? Yeah, Isla's hoping our I family here that she can play with today. So anyway, um, been down, had breakfast. They're not sleeping all night. Chris, Isabel, and Jace are both are all back at the room. Chris has just had a shower, and um, <laughs> these two, these two were. Yeah, these two were just so excited to get down to the pool that Chris said you should just take them two down. And well, he did say all three girls, but Isabel said, I want to wait with you. So Isabel's waiting at the room with Chris, and now they'll be joining us in about 10 15 minutes. We're going to go get some sunbeds, right, girls? Yeah. yeah. Who are you waving at? My oh, I told you she'd be here. Hi. Hi. Is that Betsy? Yeah. Betsy? Hi, Betsy. Anyway, come on, girls, let's go. We just got to the pool area, and the huge bouncy castle's up today. It's got a climbing wall on it, Esme. Who do you reckon will be the first to get to the top? Me! <laughs> so I met some eye from yesterday that said last week this resort was absolutely heaving. So, so busy and it was officially half term for most of the country, I guess, last week. Um, it seems like we've chosen the best week to come because it's so quiet. As far as like resorts go, it's super quiet and we've got our own little piece of heaven right here look at all the space we've got <laughs> we've got our sunbeds all laid out also are you ready to go in the pool Esme are you nearly done Isla sun creaming up you get your sun cream on then I'm gonna go film Esme and as you can see it's like 11 40 right now and there's loads of beds free anyway do you know yesterday when you pushed me in <laughs> I just let go. <laughs> Shall I do it, I fam? Shall I do it? <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Get swimming, you'll soon warm up. So one of their friends from yesterday just came down to the pool, so they're all having fun now and playing, and I am going to park my bum on eeny, meeny, miny, mo. This bed here. <laughs> and wait for, and enjoy the peace actually, before Chris and Isabel come down with Jace. What's up guys? So whilst the girls are off on a little play with some iFam right now, not in the pool, on the playground, whoa, it's windy today. The forecast today is for wind, and now in the night time from our apartment, it sounded like there was a hurricane outside, but then as soon as we came out to the pool area, you can't feel any wind whatsoever, until you walk around the back where the snack bar is, you just feel it a little bit here. But anyway, whilst the girls are playing, I'm gonna go take you all to the snack bar that is open during the daytime, because I've never seen this at any other all-inclusive resort we've been to, and we've been to a lot, but I've never seen this until this place. 
and I think it's crazy. Well, that's interesting. I was just coming to check out the snack bar. I was just telling the iPhone that you guys were playing, we're and then I caught you getting yourself some no, food. No, we're just getting some chips to share. Ah, oh, some chips to share. Good idea, Ryla. See, the girls love this man. They get the whole of this all inclusive snack bar, which has got burgers, hot dogs, chips, quiche, and something, pizza, salad, ham sandwich stuff, etc. etc. Just come and help yourself with during the daytime. Plus, you've got your own on tap beer if you're into that, and you've got your own on tap sodas. And if that one enough, your own on tap slushies as well, which the girls make oh, bare okay, use of. Okay. We, um, well, yesterday we filmed it as well, but we were just making drinks and I put loads of tonic water and she, um, slushy, but a girl, I can't believe she did it, blue slushy, ketchup, mayo and uh, beef juice. We have to, we have to all try You it. tried it. No, we have to. Um, With our own straws. Yeah, you've got beef breath, man. Now this is the crazy bit that I've never seen in an all-inclusive resort before. Normally, on an all-inclusive, obviously your drinks are all-inclusive, you get to have as many as you want, but on this one, you don't have to go to a bar to ask for them. You literally just come down and help yourself. Get a cup for as much as you want, as many times as you want, your own measures and everything. So for anybody that likes a drink through the daytime and stuff like that, you know, this place is a pretty good place to come because you can get your own measures, you can help yourself to whatever you want. I'm not a drinker obviously, so I'm gonna stick to my Coke. Do, 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 do. But it's pretty cool to have this on tap as well. Anyway, normally on an all-inclusive holiday, you have to go to a bar and ask the barman to pour you an alcoholic drink and then they pass you over a bar. Obviously, it's for free because you paid for your drinks because you're all-inclusive, but you never usually get to help yourself to measures in that way. So, you know, this hotel is pretty good for people that do like a drink through the daytime because, you know, you can help yourself. We've got me and Sarah a nice little orange with some ice in it, pure orange. I want myself a Coke. Can we go kick back? I think Jace is still asleep. So I just managed to get Jace off for a nap. He was not in the best of moods, bless him. He was not wanting to play today, was he? He was just tired, I think. Um, so he's just gone down for a nap anyway, thank goodness. He's just snuggled up right now on his sunbed. I've put this over him, which is mine. Hopefully it'll keep him asleep for a good amount of time and then I'll wake up in a good mood and want to come and play in the pool because he had so much fun yesterday doing that. Anyway, now that Jace is asleep, I'm gonna go get myself a quick swim. Uh, I love the swimming pool on holiday, I love it so much. And the last holiday that we went on Mallorca, I remember sitting outside the pub thinking, I wish I could go swim, but Jace was only eight weeks old and I was still trying to, we were both still getting used to breastfeeding and he was feeding low throughout the day. So if I got in the pool, it was literally pointless. I'd have to get out like 10 minutes later because he was just feeding constantly. Anyway, um, yeah, the girls are all playing. I'm really happy because Isabel spent a lot of yesterday sat with me and Chris. Um, not that that's an issue at all. She's growing up and I understand that she wants to sunbathe and even though she doesn't sunbathe, she's just with a towel over her. But she wants to sit in the sun and relax and play on her phone. And to an extent, I think that's absolutely fine. But I do like to see her playing and being in the water, making friends. Um, and so today when she sat down, I was like, you know, I'm going to play in the pool, sweetheart. And she's like, mm, shall I? And I was like, I would if I was you, you don't have to. And she went, yeah, I will. And now she's got a group of, actually, IFAM um, friends. So she's playing with Esme and Isla and a big group of girls, and they're all playing together in the pool doing handstands, which I'm so glad about. You guys know how it is. When the, you and your children grow up a bit and they get to teenagers, they tend to want to... I don't know, don't even know what I'm trying to say. Anyway, they're all playing in the pool nicely, and I'm really glad about that. So, I'm going to go and join them. And actually probably, probably embarrass them. Maybe that's not what Isabel will need right now. <laughs> so someone just woke up in a very good mood, ready for a splish splash in his little pool. This pool idea of Sarah's is such a good one. Ready? I'm scared! <laughs> Ready, three, two, one, go! <laughs> What's up, man? I'm going to go sit in the pool! Okay, go, 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 go. Ready, three, two, one. Woo -hoo! What's it like, man? Is it warm? Yes. Is it cold? It's warm! What's the water like, is? It's good. It was actually so hot, like yesterday it wasn't that bad, but it's not freezing. You know, I know 
me and Sarah do complain about Jace's nighttime routine habits because Jace does not sleep and last night was no exception. He did not sleep good at all. To the point where me and Sarah were a bit starry eyed waking up this morning, eight o'clock for breakfast. But he's such a good and happy, content little baby. This boy is never not smiling for one. He's never not smiling and he's just so content all the time. He's such a good baby. Are you the dream baby in the daytime? Yes you are. He's such a good boy. He's never ever not laughing or smiling and he's just content all the time. Very happy baby. But we need to make sure that we work on that at the night time, don't we darling? We need to get your sleeping habits right. That's right. Yeah, you didn't want to sleep last night at all. Because look at you. I know, you're so beautiful. Yes you are. Oh, that's your trick from last night, man. You like my hat very much. Okay. <laughs> Supper's me Hi. out here doing tickle the talks. <laughs> you having fun? Yeah. It's nice and cool out here tonight. Yeah, it's like a breeze, but it's quite warm. Yeah, it's warm. It's really nice. So we just got back to the room and had a Ooh, I've got some today. A little bit. So we just got back to the room and got ourselves showered and ready for the evening because I think we're going to head into a town. The town. <laughs> got no idea where we are we got dropped off at this hotel and we've not explored outside of the hotel because I think it's all like a bus ride or a taxi ride away lots of people keep telling us delicious there's a lovely breeze tonight as you guys can see lots of people have been telling us about a square I think it's called the square I'm not too sure but a few people have said there's a place called the square where there's shops and restaurants and so I think we're going to head there not necessarily to eat just to wander around and explore and see if we can find a beach because I think we'd quite like to go to a beach tomorrow after two days at the pool so we just all took Jace is actually asleep which is why we've not set off quite yet we thought it would be best to give him um an hour or so however he's not having another sleep tonight after this sleep so after this was loud after this sleep i'm going to try and keep him awake anyway isabel's just about to come out she wants some pictures by the way i just washed my hair in the shower and i gave myself a middle part too and it looked so weird i came out and the girls were all like no 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 and i said to chris i was like do you like my i think it looks nice I said to Chris, I was like, do I have the middle part in? And he kind of looked at me and went, I might get used to that. And I was like, yeah, you're alright. Check it out. No. <laughs> it doesn't stay because I'm so used to having it over there. Anyway, I'm going to take some pictures of Isabel for her Instagram. Are you ready? <laughs> I don't even know why anything came out then, did it? I was like... <laughs> <laughs> yes. So I know breastfed babies don't actually need to have extra water ah, because they get everything they need from breastfeeding but because we are in a hot country I did bring this little sippy cup for Jay's to have some water if he maybe had gone a while without having a drink and oh my gosh he literally loves it so much as soon as he sees the cup he has the biggest smile. You kind of suck it up like a straw. You don't need to tip it back, so it's great because he can do it himself, just sucking it up like a straw, and he literally loves it. <laughs> Is that nice, eh? <laughs> Are you ready to go explore? So just as we're rocking out, we've just realized that dinner's about to start, and we thought we might as well grab dinner before we go out to explore, because if we do it the other way around, we're gonna end up coming back early because we're panicking that dinner's gonna be over with, blah, blah, blah. So we're gonna go get some dinner now. And then we're going out to explore. That was the plan anyway, so we got down here and realised we've still got 10 minutes to wait. Can't stop laughing at Chris because the doors are closed. <laughs> the doors are closed. <laughs> but there's workers looking and Chris is just stood there. Like that. that. <laughs> so we just like, we literally ran down the stairs. We went down, we got in the elevator, we got down, we literally ran, we were like, the doors are shut. <laughs> yeah, they're yeah. still closed also, for 10 we minutes. Out and we're going to pretend that um, you won, like we're going to fake run in. But then, but then we got down to the bottom of the steps and you were already out and we were like... Say it, we beat you. You're looking very solemn over there, Isla. You're looking you very solemn. She's feeling sorry for herself, aren't you? Do you want to tell the iPhone why? No. no? You want me to? She feels like she's got sunburn on her face. I personally think it's chlorine because we applied sun cream a lot today. Mm -hmm. But it's either raw. But she feels very, very sorry for herself, don't you? But we shouldn't worry. You're fine, okay? <laughs> I actually feel really awkward because the workers are all sort of like, they're walking past the like, They're like, yo, these girls must be hungry. This, this is the all inclusive not enough. Like, did they not eat at lunchtime? Yeah, I did. And what? I want more. <laughs> so I thought 
whilst it's not too busy, I'd give you a quick look around what's on offer tonight in the restaurant. So over here we got a selection of rice, rice, rice dish <gasps> dishes, cheese, cauliflower and cheese, delicious, delicious. Not sure if those are onion rings or calamari. They look like onion rings. Not too sure though. This is what me and Jace have gone for. It's a vegetable paella. It looks so good. It's got mushrooms in it. Actually doesn't look that great on camera, but it does look delicious in real life. Isabel, I know what you've seen. I've seen it once. Esme saw it and she went, what? Look what's on the dessert menu for tonight. Grapes. Is there any strawberries? Oh, they don't have strawberries? Oh my gosh. Oh, look at those marshmallows. Oh, can you imagine water? Oh yeah, that sounds good. Guys, I've got to comment on the other day. I said, what are they actually called? What they actually called? I can't remember now. Oh my gosh, what are these called? Mar 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 margarine! No, not margarine. Mar Mar <laughs> Mar Mar meringue! Meringue, meringue, meringue. Sorry. Okay, so there's this meringue, and I picked one up the first night we got here, and I said something along the lines of, Oh, do you want a meringue? And he's all like, Eh, what? I thought it was a garlic. <laughs> I thought it was like on show as like a. I thought it was like a garlic. Decoration. Decoration, because it wasn't actually here, it was somewhere else. I thought, Oh, it's just. But it wasn't. A garlic. It was a macaroon. It's not a macaroon. You don't even know what are they called? Meringue. It's a meringue. I just thought it was a garlic. <laughs> Over here we've got cooking stations like pasta. Oh, lots of nice food. The girls are obviously seeing what's on offer tonight. I think that. I think that one's fish. Yeah. And then there's chicken breast. Just that looks really good. The chicken breast. What about chicken and chips? The gravy or something and some veggies. I kind of want to like. Yeah, I was good that. that. Yeah, it's chicken. It's chicken. I don't know what like. I don't really fancy chicken. Okay. Pasta, spaghetti bolognese, I saw that somewhere. I think it's just because I need a drink. I'm not that hungry. You're not very hungry? Yeah. Okay. Isla's not hungry. And then around here we've got some meats and some hot dogs and there's pizza and things over there. With a selection of cheeses and some um, seafood. <laughs> we actually don't eat seafood as a family. We're just not massive fans of it. But there is a big selection if you are. I just, mum, yesterday, I don't know why, but what, our eyes water when I think about it. it makes Sorry me about what? Esme put one of those in my mouth yesterday. Shrimp. Like an it's eye water going down my throat or anything, mum. <laughs> <laughs> I literally started crying, I'm not even joking. <laughs> There's loads of sea shell type things with, I guess, clams. clams. That's the one. See, I'm not massive on uh, seafood, I'm not sure. Clams. With clams in two different sauces. They look. Delicious, I guess, for anyone that likes clams. <laughs> then we've got a huge selection of cheeses, absolutely ginormous, with some dates and some dried fruits, etc. Just over there. Actual seafood paella here with loads of our hot meals. Not sure what these are. Um, small tuna pies, and tuna and tomato pies, chips, some vegetables. Um, lots of yummy veggies. Okay, then we've got ice creams, delicious sprinkles, a massive amount of like jellies, fruits, uh, cakes that look so good. What's this? I think this might be, I'm not sure what this is. It's like fresh serve ice cream maybe? Anyway, it looks divine, absolutely delicious. So many yummy cakes. There's also another room, I don't know if you can see through those doors there, where there's like a kid's selection of things. There's also a pasta station with like spaghetti bolognese that looks so, so good. And then a massive, massive, humongous salad section, which looks delicious as well. But my dinner's going cold and Jaycee's waiting. So, oh my gosh, she brought me a bottle of wine. Yeah. <laughs> so I've not had alcohol since I got here because I've just not. I said tonight, I said I might have a small glass of rosé with my meal, so when the lady came over to take the drinks order, I was like, can I get a small rosé? She's brought me a bottle. <laughs> but it looks like Dad's sharing too, so yes. that's good. Esme's rewarded herself to... <laughs> Esme's rewarded herself tonight with a delicious... Don't let Jay see that. A delicious... Is that marshmallow? Yeah. I think I might have to get a marshmallow one of those. They yeah, look really it. good. I can't not put sprinkles in it. I thought, it looks a bit plain. I was like, what's it missing? Colour. <laughs> Now 
stood outside the rest the hotel waiting for a taxi. Unfortunately, we couldn't get a taxi for all six of us. The six of us, the six seat taxi, sorry, were running late and were on quite a big delay. They couldn't tell us if we'd be waiting five minutes or half an hour. So we've decided to just take two regular sized taxis. And we got told that for anybody that's interested in coming maybe to Lanzarote and staying in Costa Teguise where we are. We're about a three euro fifty taxi ride away from the square, which is what I was speaking about before. Not actually sure what the square is. We'll obviously film when we get there, but I've heard it's a place with there. bars and shops and restaurants. <laughs> All I can hear right now is Jace sucking his finger. Yeah. <laughs> Does that finger taste good? I don't know if I'll be able to get it on camera, but Chris noticed today that Jace's top teeth, funnily enough, not his bottom ones, his top two are bulging hugely they've not quite cut through yet but they're really really bulging out right there, you can see yeah they're right there you can see them so i think that's probably what's been keeping him up on a night time she got no as me not yay i want teeth no i no, don't I, <laughs> I don't want teeth are you even on an abroad holiday if you don't visit the braid ladies who are very very good at doing hair i just feel like um, um and we're back to school and i look kind of way for school but i can't you can't can you i would yeah. you're not feeling it this time are you but this little one is always feeling it and she can leave hers in for school can't you are you excited isla Wow, Isla! Thank you so much. That looks so pretty. Are you happy with that? That's t eight, ten euro, ten euro bargain. Can you see it? Let me see. I'll have to put. Oh, I'll turn the camera. Are you ready? Do you like it? It's so pretty. It's beautiful. Thank you very much. Come on, then, Ali. It looks so pretty. Say bye bye and thank you. Oh, I feel so bad on those ladies. There was a, late, a family that just went up and got one of their daughters hair braided and then they obviously didn't negotiate a price beforehand. And when she'd finished braiding the girl's hair, the mum said, how much? And the lady said, 10 euros, which is exactly what we got quoted for Isla. And then she's like, no, not paying that. And the woman looked totally lost, didn't she, girls? She was like, she was, she was like, and then there was like, I'll give you six. And then there was a bit of debating going on. And then she was like, I'll give you eight. I'm not giving you no more. So the woman was like, okay. I know. <laughs> so the woman was like, okay. So then she gave her a 10 and waited for a two euros change. And I felt so bad for her. She was literally like, she was like, wounded. well, it's a t it said eight euros before. So give me eight. So I'm only paying eight, but I just felt awful for her. So I asked if she had any change because I've only got 50 euros to, be, to like give her the two euros because I felt bad. Like obviously these people are just trying to make a living and you spend thousands of pounds to go on a holiday and I don't know. I know every circumstances are different and maybe that family couldn't afford 10, but I don't know. I just felt bad. They had a 10 pound note in the hand. I know, that doesn't necessarily mean they can afford to pay the 10 pounds, but it, it did make us all feel a little bit like, just pay the 10. These people are just trying to make a living. <laughs> Anyway, comment down below if you guys barter when you go to places. Now, don't get me wrong, if she'd have said this for 50 euros or something, I'd be like, um, 50 for a braid, maybe we'll play that down a bit. But at 10 euros, I think it's a bargain. They do sit there and take the time to make it, and it looks super pretty, and Isla's happy, so I think 10 euros is an absolute bargain. And it looks beautiful, Isla. I normally go for pink and blue. Blue? blue. You do, don't you? Well, um, this time I have pink and blue. And it looks so pretty. Although I can hear a rowdy man out here. Rowdy, rowdy. Rowdy boy. Rowdy boy. Rowdy boy. <laughs> so we just come for a little wander around the streets and into all the little souvenir shops. Isla's currently just checking out postcards because she wants to take a postcard home. I'd like to say it's for Eva, but she'll obviously have to post it to Eva because Eva's moved to New Zealand. But Isla, you want to post a card to New Zealand, don't you? Yeah. And post I a postcard. A little present from yeah. holiday. Well, look before we go home for definite. Whoa, look at that one, Isla. And this book's got my name in it. Yeah. Oh my gosh, you can't believe it, Isabel. It's the Isabel sticker book. The Isabel sticker. Hey, they're quite cool, actually. Yeah, look. Stickers that have Isabel. I really love these sand art things. Picture frames, you turn them over. It's an Isla sticker book. Ooh. It's an Isla sticker book. Wow, that's cool, boo. That's cute. Very cute. Whoa, those are so cool, Esme. I've not seen those in England. Yeah. They look awesome. How cool are those? 15 euros. Do they reverse? 
Oh, they do. No, 15, sweetheart. Oh, what's it, 50? 15.99, actually. So, do you know movies where it like whacks you in the face with the shoes? Where, when a fish whack, does what in the movies? I think when it jumps up on that Tom and Jerry or something, it goes. <laughs> what does it do, Isabel? <laughs> Shopping done for the evening, everyone's getting tired. Chris has been for a walk with Jace, who's fallen asleep in his pram. Wake that boy up, and he's found the beach, so probably gonna come back down tomorrow. I think tonight, we're trying to get him back to sleep. Oh, it's news, never mind. Shh, Jace. Yeah. Tonight, there's gonna be up all night. Yeah. Wake yeah. up, boy. Um, yeah, so you you wanna go check it out? Come on, then, let's go have a little look. So, we just got back to the hotel, got some drinks, and somehow. Isabel has convinced us to come and have a game of cards. Yeah. Because it's her favourite time of yeah. day, isn't it? Isabel's like, oh, can we play cards? And I'll admit, straight away, I was like, no, I'm just going to go back up to the room. And then I was like, oh, but it's my favourite time of day. Esme, don't you agree? When we come on holiday, the best part is when we sit down as a family and play cards. So me and Chris are both like, Guilt trip. <laughs> so we're not going to waste the evening. We've only we've cut it's only about half nine, isn't it? Yeah, it's not nine. Right. It's about half past nine, something like that, nine forty-five. So we're going to sit here and have a couple of games of cards before heading back up to the room. We're gonna teach Jace how to play Chase the Ace. Chase, Chase, Chase the Jace. Chase the Jace. Who won the first round? Me! I won! I came second, Mummy! Second! <laughs> the girl's looking at me, Esme. It's like... Yeah. <laughs> Burger Bell. <laughs> oh, dear. Jay Pennell. I think we're not paying as well. I think he's Esme. I'm not too sure, but I think he might be jealous. Which one's it gonna be? Slowly, slowly. <laughs> Are you sure that's your final offer? Thank you. <laughs> I know you went up the ace. <laughs> you don't know that this is not the ace. So if anybody doesn't know how to play Chase the Ace, it's the funniest, most easiest family game ever. You can share all the cards out equally. You look at your pile, you keep your pile a secret, and then you take out all your pairs. And then you're left with however many cards, and then you go around the circle taking a card from the person on your left, one at a time, taking in turns. If the card you take makes a pair from one in your pile, you put the pair down. The aim of the game is to lose all of your cards as quickly as possible. But there's also an ace. <laughs> there's also one ace left in the deck of cards, and you just don't want the ace. So it's all you have to keep a poker face if you've got the ace. So we're constantly going around the pot like who's got the ace. It's never hard to tell who's got the ace in our family because they sit like this. When it's your turn to take a card, right Esme, it's my turn to take one from Esme. <laughs> I'm gonna go for this one instead. <laughs> so then the first person who loses all of the cards and doesn't end up with the ace is the winner. So this game does go largely a look, but I've just picked a three from Esme, much to her disappointment and tiredness. <laughs> I just picked a three, which means I can put them three down, them two down, and then Chris is going to take that, which means I win again! Everyone's obviously well just about that. <laughs> Anyways guys, Isla rinses all on that last round and we're just back at the hotel room, everyone getting ready for bed. Mr. Jay's pace is very tired and these guys are laughing heads off right now over some music videos. Isabel's reading her book. Tick oh, sorry, TikTok. my bad. TikTok. It's not music. Sorry guys, TikTok videos. My bad. I, sh I know that. TikTok. Anyway guys, well, we're going to say goodnight. Thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure you come back tomorrow because tomorrow we're heading out of the complex, off into Lanzarote. We've got a banging day planned for tomorrow, which we're really excited about. And the weather's meant to be a scorch here as well, the hottest day so far here. And it was scorch here today. So I can't even imagine what it's going to be like tomorrow. But we're really excited. So come back tomorrow, check it out. Thank you so much for watching. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed. And we will see you then. Good night, guys.